of Volvo's magnificent uh, self-driving car, or is it a, a semi-autonomous car, this one? It's a semi-autonomous car, as we call it, and this car is capable to um, drive, um, support you driving in, at speeds of up, up to 130 kilometers per hour. It can keep the lane, so it stays in the lane. It can follow a, another car, but otherwise it can keep the, 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 the speed. This car is not changing lanes yet, but it's so, so the driver is still in control. And that's one of the big things to understand. Fully autonomous cars, the, the driver will be not, can be out of the loop, not in control anymore, so the car is taking over control. Here the driver still has to supervise the driving. That's with today's technology capable. It's radars, cameras, uh, placing the car on the, on, on the road. So that's this kind of technology that is used. How far are we from uh, you know, having fully automated driving cars that will take us without a driver to point A to point B, etc.? Um, well, we at Volvo, we will um, have uh, the biggest uh, project, pilot project on real roads with real kind of normal customers behind the wheel starting next year. We will build up up to 100 cars on the, on the highway uh, ring around uh, Gothenburg, Sweden, where we will put real customers behind the wheel. And first, it is most important also to understand how those people react on AD cars. Uh, in, the f in the near future, there will be 80 cars and normal cars on the road. So what happens when those two cars are suddenly on the s same road? And what do we need to know? How does it have to connect to other infrastructure, etc.? We want to learn this. So we're still in a learning phase. It's fascinating and it's interesting to see that this is the next uh, generation. They're saying that the, the car is the next smartphone in terms of innovation. This is where it's really happening. I think so. And that's why like at show like, uh, shows like Mobile World Congress and, and uh, CES, uh, the car is suddenly the hot thing and, and the innovation is really uh, is really happening here. It's still a bit more than just an iPhone on, on wheels. There's a luxury feeling in the car that you want to have, safety you want to have, but the, um, the connectivity, being connected to the cloud allows, allows so much new stuff to do.